50 crates, five generations. Let's get some unusuals. And the first crate is probably a disappointment. You know, I'm not gonna check every price of every item, but it's not exciting at all. The degreaser, that's probably a regular degreaser as well. Well, let's see, let's open some crates and find what's inside. A shitty paint, God, I hate purple. This one is probably not gonna have any paints. Oh, it actually, it actually does. Does this crate actually not have anything good? Oh my God, I keep going back to the menu, it's so annoying. So far, a pretty disappointing turn of events. Unusual, <laughs> it's so like, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Already, we're not gonna get the generation one crates because I think this was the last crate that was up until number 20. No more burning, searing plasma, circling hearts and whatnot. I really don't care what unusual I get at this point. I just want to get a single unusual, a strange sniper rifle. Uh, I wonder how much that is, uh, but it's probably not worth the key. Also, this hat is really old and I really love it. I actually forgot it existed and I think I'm gonna start using it on my pyro loadout all the time. It, it used to be also very expensive. Another strange sniper rifle. Crap. Just crap. Or is it? I mean, let's, uh, let me take a look in the Steam market. So it is, well, it's a, yeah, it's above a dollar. So that's at least something, you know, at least it's not like five cents, like fists of steel or something. Another uh. strange sniper rifle. What the hell? I guess this game really wants me to start playing sniper, huh? Wow. Uh, this one also has a chance to give me a strange sniper rifle. If this gives me one... Oh, I would have said it's probably bigger odds, smaller odds to get four sniper rifles, you know, strange sniper rifles than an unusual, which I think is actually the case, but... Uh, underwater kills. Let's go with the unboxing and we'll see how much profit or, or not profit we make. And it's another strange sniper rifle. This is insane. I do not actually believe this. Holy moly. God damn, son. Uh, okay, so this one doesn't have it but it has the bizarre bargain. And if I get another sniper rifle of any kind, I'm losing my stuff. But at the same time, I kind of should want it here because it's, I think it's pretty expensive. Uh, Mad Milk. From this one, we really need a Mad Milk. I mean, that stuff is expensive for sure. And I get a hat. Unusual? Nope. Not an unusual. God. So <laughs> it's kind of fun because these old crates, they didn't really have many hats in them. You know, it wasn't always like a cosmetic crate. So getting a hat and seeing it, you're confused because you're, you know, it's, it's quite hard to get a hat on its own. So to get an unusual, it's even crazier. But every time you expect it. But it's actually just a regular hat. God damn it. Also a classic, also a lovely hat, but I think my scouts Head wear is already taken by a uh, cooler. Also all it had, which is the hoopy cap. Strange dead ringer. So I think they f fell in price, I think. Uh, it used to be quite expensive. Okay, moving on. Please give me an unusual. Definitely not an unusual. No worries, 23. So wait, is this a uh, series one unusual? So it can, okay, so we have four more crates at least that could give me a series one unusual. That's great. Uh, I mean, that would be just lovely. Um, let's take a look. Okay, a strange pistol. I already have like two of those. Come on, come on, come on. A Sandman, god damn it. This probably is worth like the least out of everything here, besides the hats and maybe the blue soggers. But you know what? I don't have one. I don't think I have one and I don't really use it, but it could be a fun encouragement to try it out and then have some fun with it. Strange Degreaser, already have mine, but it's not a bad one, I think. It's probably worth at least a dollar. So I'm quite happy. Okay, two more crates that may give me a Gen 1 Unusual. Please, for the love of God, Give me one, please. Ah, oh, man, you, I, you just get a rush when you see a hat. I, I thought that CSGO had like a way better opening for crates, more addicting one at least, or more interesting and exciting. And it still does, but I didn't think TF2s could actually bring, you know, so much hype as well. Though I think it could be a lot more exciting. So yeah, no Gen 1 unusual, nothing I can do about it now. We tried, that's what matters. Let's continue to crate 54. A rap assassin. That is definitely pretty much worthless. 
Oh, wait, we got 17. I didn't notice that. Okay, so it's not all lost on Gen 1 Unusuals. Let's go, let's get them. But to get to them, we need to unbox these first. And this is just a regular hat. Also a pretty old one. Not as old as maybe this or this, but still a pretty old one. Uh, but with the, the, the white bone hat thing, my, 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 my pirate is already taken. I mean, it's such a cool hat. I wish it was unusual, like the sickest unusual. And they're like really expensive, I'm sure. And as bicycle, uh, I bet those go for quite a bit. God, I'm so behind in TF2's economy nowadays because I haven't been actively trading for so many years. So it's kind of strange and I'm just not sure of anything that I unbox now. I just know that like white paint is good. Certain strange parts are good. A strange fire axe. Uh -uh. Not exciting at all. Crazily unexciting. A strange market gardener. It's either like also really cheap or quite expensive. Yeah, I don't have one, and I think I'm gonna keep this one. Demoman killed. Okay. A part I will probably never use, so it will definitely be for sale. And we have, you know, we've moved, we've moved. Oh my god, I cannot speak today. I <laughs> just came back from work, a lot of speaking there, so just kind of messing with me now. Um, we're past the halfway point, and we're on to probably the last ones here. Generation 1 unusual crate. Please. Okay, another shitty paint. I don't like it. Okay, Gaben, please, for the love of God, give me another one. Well, he did give me another one. I forgot to ask for an unusual, so I just got another paint. Crap. And now we get into Stranger Fires and Strange Parts. I, I mean, I would love to get some cool Strange Parts for my stuff. But this is definitely not what I want. Um, fine. Uh, crate 91. So what does it have? A flare gun kit. Kill streaks as well here. Okay. So oh, so it's just kill streaks. Well, not anticipating too much because I don't really care for kill streaks. Um, but I guess there are some cool ones that I would be willing to use. Just not this one. I don't even use the Hulongi Hulongi Hitari. I don't use it. I use my precious Tommy Slaw and the default minigun. Ooh, half Satoichi. That's pretty good. Let me Google. Like, there's no way this is not expensive. I'd say decent strangers that I will either sell or keep, but you know, another one. This is good. This is good. Very well. Uh, I was gonna sell this right away, but now that I have two, I might just keep one or buy back my strange eyeliner, which I sold and I regret it like instantly. I don't know why I did it. I mean, it had a lot of kills as well. And uh, yeah, strange wrench kit. Now, I mean, kill streak wrench kit. Now I wonder if applying this to a strange wrench or any wrench for that matter, does it actually measure your sentry kill streaks or your melee kills or is it both? I guess it's both, but you're never sure. Because if you apply the strange part robot skill, it only counts with the actual wrench hits rather than the sentry, which sucks. Complete garbage, and it should definitely be the other way around. Okay, a vaccinator kit. Uh, I don't really use the vaccinator, even as a medic main. Doesn't come across my loadout often. Uh, but if it's gonna be cheap, and it's probably gonna be, I will use it just to have it. Please, unusual. God damn it. Ah. Uh, it's a pretty funny hat. XO, XO, X. <laughs> the Soviet gentleman. It just feels like the name doesn't make any sense for this particular hat, but I'll test it out. It's probably quite nice. No unusual so far, and we've un almost unboxed 40 crates now. This is quite bad luck. I mean, it's, it's like really bad, but the strange Hitman's heat maker. That's worth like a key. This one I just checked and it's worth about a key. So it's good, you know, I can get more keys, unbox more crates, maybe get an unusual. Hopefully get an unusual. A strange bonk. Uh, I use this item sometimes, but it's definitely not worth a lot. Crate number 71. I really would love to have strange part gib kills. I think that's quite an expensive part, but I would also love to apply it to my strange rocket launcher. Like, I would completely lose my mind if I got it. But I didn't. It's a Hitman's Heatmaker. Gosh, 
fine. Okay, it's still worth something. A key, you know, that's decent. But please, just give me an unusual. Can this even be unusual? I know there's some misks that can be. But can this one? Can any? Hmm. Probably not the flip-flops, at least. Uh, let's go. Crate 91. Ah, uh, I already have a kill streak one. Please, if you don't give me an unusual, give me either something expensive or something I'm actually willing to use. Strange cosmetic farm kills. That's awesome. This shit is six keys. Holy six and a half keys. Holy moly. But does this mean I can actually apply it to like... Oh, so you apply it to Strange. I didn't know this was Strange that I had. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, so you can apply it to Strange stuff so it counts just the kills. That's cool. I mean, I thought it could actually convert any hat into a Strange one. Uh, but, I mean, wow, this is great. This is actually cool. Uh, I'm not even mad about it not being that unusual, to be honest. A specialized Killstreak Direct Hit Kit. Let's go. 84. Minigun, sticky bomb launcher. I got the kill streak minigun. I would love to have a sticky bomb launcher I put on it. Yeah, please give me the sticky bomb launcher. Or an unusual, please. Even better. A back burner. Actually, I didn't think about that. That is also pretty freaking sleek. I use that back burner quite a lot. Especially about. Wow, what did I just. What was I gonna say? Especially after a recent video I saw on how good it is. I think it was Elmaxos. Maybe not. If it's not Elmaxos, I'm sorry. I will probably try to fix it somehow and show who it actually was from. Crap. Okay, last four cases. Crates, cases, crate, cases. Three more. Come on. One unusual. Please. Gaben. This, am I asking for too much? Probably, yeah. I mean, in all of this, I have a 0.5% to get one. One in a hundred chance, so 0.5 in 50. This already, again, not using the vaccinator, but maybe it goes for at least a couple of bucks. Two last crates. Please, Gaben. Maybe I should be calling for Robin instead, not Gaben. Okay, okay, not an unusual. But I'm quite happy with this one. I mean, the loose cannon is the goofiest freaking weapon in the game. Um, so it will definitely be going on mine. And the last crate. Let's go! Please, 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 please. Ah, not even a hat. At least it's specialized. Yeah. I mean, I got quite a bit of, exp like, decently expensive stuff. Like the strange parts and whatnot. But the crates themselves cost me like 10 euros, if not more, probably more, so kind of sucks. But hey, at least I got a lot of untradeable items now and I can use some of them. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to do more of these. I know I wasn't really entertaining because I don't really do this much. Uh, please consider subscribing, it helps a lot. And thank you for, you know, being here, for watching my quizzes. If you haven't seen them, check them out. Uh, I do two quizzes every day. So yeah, have a nice day, have a nice holiday, 